What's up, y'all? It's Jai, and I'm here at my gun safety class with a big homie. We have Bullets and Beards and Urban Syndicate. Let's get it. What I'm about to teach you now is the most important thing that you're gonna learn all day, and that's the four universal rules of firearm safety. Okay. I don't care where you go on this planet, anyone that deal with guns abide by these rules. It's gonna keep us here safe today, and it's gonna keep you safe at home and your loved ones safe. Okay. That very first rule is treat all guns like they're loaded. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn who hands you a gun and say, hey, this gun not loaded. That gun is loaded until you say it's not loaded. Right. You got me? And the way that we make sure that our gun is not loaded, the first thing we do we, in a safe direction, mm -hmm. we push this button. All semi-automatic weapons have this button. Okay. This is called the magazine release. We simply push that button and release the source of ammo, which is the magazine. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to remember. This is not called a clip. In the hood, <laughs> we call this the clip. That's what right. we call it in the hood. But I want you to learn proper te uh, terminology. Mm -hmm. This is called the magazine. Okay. So the very first thing we do again, we push this button and release the magazine. This gun is still not unloaded. Right. What we do next, still in a safe direction, we rack our gun at least three times. At least three times? At least three times. If it was one in the chamber, it would have fell out the magazine port. Mm -hmm. The very last thing we do in a safe direction, now watch this. See this little notch right here? Mm -hmm. See this lever? All right. What we do, we slide that back to that lever and just push up and let that lever rest on that notch. What does that do? What it does, now we can tilt our gun, we can see that there's no magazine in there. And no bullet. And no bullet. Now, this gun is what we call out of battery. Mm -hmm. It's not a danger to you or no one else around us. Now, this gun is safe. And that's how we handle guns. Hold your gun. Now pass it back to me. I'm gonna pass it back to you. That's proper gun handling. Make okay. sense? Down. Exactly. And that's the second rule. We always make sure we keep our gun in a safe direction. Okay. I tell everybody to act like your weapon has a laser at the end of it. This is called the muzzle of the gun. Mm -hmm. Act like your gun has a laser on the muzzle. Whatever that laser cross is gonna destroy. So if I want it to go this way, God forbid I would never come this way because it's gonna chop you in half, right? Right. So what I would do, I would point down and go this way. I would point up and go this way. Or I, I even turn my back and go this way. In the gun world, we always over exaggerate safety. Mm -hmm. So number two, always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. So loading it, putting it down, whatever you do, keep it in a safe direction. The third thing, which is one of the most important things, keep your finger off of this trigger, and this is what we call the trigger guard. Mm -hmm. Keep your finger off of this trigger and off of this trigger guard until you up on your target. That's when you push your finger on the trigger. Okay. This is not a lever. We do not pick our gun up like this. Right. We do not rack the slide with our finger on the trigger. Right. Your finger only goes on that trigger when you get up on your target. Right. Make sense? The very last thing is identify your target and what's beyond it. The only thing that means when you pull your gun, know that you want to shoot this thing that you're shooting mm -hmm. and know what's beyond it. All shots are not good shots. You got me? You can be in a mall full of people. We're going to panic. Stress level go up. Mm -hmm. You can miss this person from this close. Right. From this close, you can miss that person and shoot somebody in the background. Make sense? 
So identify your target and what's beyond it. In the hood, you always say, I wish somebody would break in my house. I'll shoot that motherfucker through the door right. and pull him in. Well, your ass probably going to jail because we don't shoot through doors. Mm -hmm. Make sense? We identify our target. Right. That's the four safety rules. Right. Give me one. Okay. Wait, what's this thing called right here? So, this is called the... All right, so your gun come in two parts. Mm -hmm. Your gun come... The very bottom part is the frame of the gun. Okay. The top part is the slide. This is called the slide stop lever because okay. it stops the slide. Don't some safeties be looking like this though? Yeah, so the, if it had a safety, it would be in the very back. Okay. But this done uh, is not equipped with a, with a safety, with an external safety. Okay. Rules, when you first grab it, make sure nothing's, nothing's in there. Mm -hmm. um, the magazine isn't in, so I'm good on that. But then I could pull this back too. Correct. <laughs> but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to put the thing down. <laughs> so, let me show you. I'm trying to put this down. So what you do, this is how you do that. I'm gonna go in a safe direction, right? Hold it up in the boom world. Mm -hmm. This is our workstation. We work with our head up. So we always pull the weapon to our face so we can see what we're doing. So you was down here. You was yeah, guessing. Yeah, I couldn't see it, yeah. You know what I mean? You was guessing. We can pull it here. Oh, damn, there go that damn notch right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull the slide back and I'm gonna push that level up. Okay, I was pushing it down too. Yep, all right. Now to get this to go forward, we either push this down and damn it, I can't do it cause it's so small. Right. But in a gunfight, what we lose, we lose our acute motor skills and our gross motor skills go up. So this is a gross motor skill. You just run right. right. You be trying to push it down. Exactly. <laughs> you be trying to push it down. No, your acute motor skills go out the window because your body don't need them. So the brain it puts all it puts off all your acute motor skills mm -hmm. and dump that energy in your gross motor skills. So that's why this is easier to do. Right. So what I want you to do is go ahead and pull your slide back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There we yeah. go. That girl good. That, I gotta that, practice that, bro. <laughs> yep, yep, it's a practice. So pull it in your workstation. Boom. But I will only need to do this if I'm checking to see if, like, what's in there. Exactly. Like, so any other time, like an emergency, there was no, be no reason I have to do this. Bro. Just. Exactly. So, give me another rule. Um. Know my target and also know who's behind my target. Yep, and what's beyond. I like it. So, those two rules that you gave me, uh, firearm safety. So, let's get to shooting. <laughs> this is where attacks probably gonna happen at. Right. Statistics say gun battles are usually from three feet away. They last maybe three seconds and about three rounds. This is about, this may be a good 10 yards away. Mm -hmm. This is what we're gonna learn to shoot at. Anything further than this is really competition shooting. You got me? Or when you're trying to get real good. Right. But when we first starting off, this is a good distance to start off from. Right. Maybe 10 yards away. Cause Makes this sense? is most like realistic. Exactly, mm -hmm. this, this is realistic right here. So what we're gonna do, you always stand in your fighting stance. Okay. And it's muscle memory. Whenever you have to reload, don't come here and reload because we. this is muscle memory. We about to get this motherfucker what we owe them. You got me? In our fighting stance, remember, we always hold our weapon in front of our face, strong arm, this is called our workstation. Mm -hmm. You bring your weapon here, You load your weapon.
Now you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna do this again, right? Because I'm gonna show you something. I always tell people to treat your weapon like a badass kid. Mm -hmm. You have to handle your weapon rough. Right. If you do not handle your weapon rough, it's gonna jam on you. Mm -hmm. If you do not put that in hard, it's probably gonna fall out. If you do not rack that slide back hard, it's probably gonna jam. And that's why people usually experiencing jamming. Oh shit, my weapon jammed up because you didn't handle it rough. Right. This is like a motorcycle. Motorcycles are built to be driven fast. Mm -hmm. If they don't, they're probably gonna overheat in traffic. You got mm -hmm. me? So when you're loading your weapon, what I want you to see, what I want to see you do, jam that motherfucker in there. Mm -hmm. I'm pointing at your target, okay? Okay. You ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> That's a real smile of joy, right? Okay. Oh, I see the shot now that you're talking about. Wait, should I shoot it yet? Nope. I see the thing though. Wait, do you close one eye when you be shooting? Or no? So, about that. That's a good question. Uh, when you're a professional, you don't. Yeah. Just starting off to get you focused, I want you to close one eye. You said close one eye? Break it one more time. Wait, I'm sorry, I was I was focused on this, I didn't hear you. But how did another see how did another one just get in there? Because your mag was still in. Mm. As long as if your magazine's still in, as long as you keep doing this, it's cycling. It keep feeding your gun. Your gun is like a baby, a crying baby. It want to be fed. So if your magazine is in there and you keep racking the slide, it keeps cycling. And your magazine keep feeding your gun. Okay. You have to take the magazine out first. Is it bad to put this right here while I load it? No, as long as it's pointing in a safe direction. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yup, put it in your workstation. But first get your feet right. Okay. There you go. Good job. So question, mm -hmm. if you if you right-handed, right? Right. Why do you have your left foot back? back. That's comfortable for you? Yeah, because I saw yours like this, but then uh -huh. I tried it and this is just not comfortable. Okay, well get what's comfortable for you. See, and in the gun world, it's only a couple of laws that's strict you have to go by mm -hmm. but when it comes for com when it comes to comfortability you get whatever's comfortable for you okay. make sense okay so what i want you to do again this is called your rear sight you're going to look straight down this channel only focus on this front sight okay wherever you put this front sight at that's where it's going to shoot okay okay so i want you to put this front sight on that top paper plate okay. and go ahead and put your finger on the trigger only pull back until you feel that trigger wall uh, shoot it though nope only pull back until you until you feel that wall i feel the wall you feel the wall yeah when you think you're lined up that front sight is lined up on that paper plate go ahead and pull that trigger all the way back wait one question my my face can go like right in the middle of this gun because huh? Cause isn't something gonna like, sh like the core? So what's gonna happen, the shell yeah, that's what is I'm gonna pop. Okay, okay, okay. So put your finger on the trigger uh -huh. and pull it back till you feel the trigger wall. Okay, you ready? When you're ready, pull, it, pull the trigger all the way back. Stay there. Take your finger off the trigger. Okay. I didn't shoot it. <laughs> you didn't shoot it. <laughs> now, stay right there. Okay. Remember how, what I told you, how easy it is to miss your target. Yeah. You miss the miss. Yeah. That's why we always identify our target and what's behind it. Right. So if we was in Linux Mall, 
you was aiming for the threat, but you didn't shot no, one on, on the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you got me? Now you have a liability case. <laughs> yeah. So, I want you to go again. Okay. Put this front side on the top paper plate. Top paper plate. Dang. Again. And okay. get get comfortable. I Hold think your... I might need to squeeze. I think when I shoot it, that's when my like focus like moves. When it moves? Yeah. Okay. So as soon as you as soon as you bring it up on target, take that slack out the trigger. What you mean? You're gonna pull back to that trigger wall. Uh -huh. As soon as you come up. Then as soon as you see that front slide on that paper, uh -huh. boom, pull back. Okay. So question, do you have both your eyes open or one eye? I have one eye open. But that's because I'm trying to see like. So watch this. Put your gun directly under your right eye. Directly, I don't have it in the center. Put it directly under your right eye. Okay, but should I still close one eye? Because when I close, yep. that's the only way I could like get it to focus. Yep. Again. Why so when I this is the same gun that Kevin had. This is a Glock. Mm -hmm. You got me? Now I'm going to demonstrate. Feet. Mm -hmm. Balance, right? Mm -hmm. You're in front of your target. This is my threat. This person is trying to bring me great bodily mm -hmm. harm right. or somebody else great bodily harm. Proper grip. Stand. I'm looking straight on myself. And I dispose of them. Mm -hmm. Make sense? <clears throat> Come here. But your thing isn't still cocked back when you just put it in your case. Because what happened, I still got baby food mm -hmm. to feed the baby. So you have to pull it back again for it to... I don't have to pull it back again. As long as I have, as long as I have this uh, magazine in there with ammo, when I keep pulling, it's gonna keep feeding the baby, keep feeding but the baby. But you're not worried about the trigger accidentally going off and you just throw it back in there? No, so it take five pounds of pressure for this trigger to go off. I have mm -hmm. to put five pounds on here. I have a good holster. I'm not worried about it going off. This is a good holster. When people don't understand uh, the proper safety tactics, keep your finger off the trigger mm -hmm. until you open the toilet. That's how you get accidental discharges. My finger is never on the trigger. When I grab it, I'm going to sit it back. Mm -hmm. I'm never worried about it. Make sense? Okay. Finger on the trigger when I'm on time. So remember I was telling you about those front, the rear sight mm -hmm. and the front sight? You watch football? Mm -hmm. So this is the goal post. Okay. This is the football. Look exactly down this goal post at this football. And when it's even on both sides, that's when you pull the trigger. Make sense? Now, this is the difference I was trying to tell you between your gun and a better gun. Mm -hmm. You have sights for your judgment. Right. So now, try to take this shot, that shot in that top plate. Is this, this one gonna um, kick huh? back? This one gonna, it's gonna kick You don't back. gotta do nothing. <laughs> it's ready. It's ready. Okay, okay, okay. And make sure so this right here. The coil's still gonna go that way, right? Boom, yep. You wanna make sure there's no space in between here and your hand. You got me? Okay. Go ahead and put your finger on the trigger. Put, put your weapon down. 
You saw where you shot at? Yeah. How you feel about yourself? Good. <laughs> <laughs> now you see the difference? Mm hmm Guns are like cars. Right. Some cars gonna get you from point A to point B, but some cars are more luxury than others. Right. Make sense? Right. Let's take that same shot. Wait, what kind of gun is this? That's a Glock. That's a Glock, okay. Mm-hmm. And let me let me give you you handling you handling your recoil well. Mm -hmm. The gun is not flapping all back. Mm -hmm. You handling your recoil well. So forward. Again, when you ready, put that football on that top plate and take and take your shot. Again. 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 Ooh. Bottom plate. Bottom plate. Bottom plate. Top plate. Bottom plate. Put the weapon down. How you feel about yourself? <laughs> Good, was I hitting someone though? Get your finger off that trigger. Okay, you right. How you feel? Good. Okay. <laughs> You're shooting good. It's a difference. I like this gun better. Why? Because it's like, it's a little bigger, it's easier to handle, and this thing is easier. Yep. See, what people think, <clears throat> they think because, oh, this gun's small, mm -hmm. I can handle it, I got small hands. Not so much. It's, right. it's harder. It's like a kid. A baby is small. But it's very difficult. It takes yeah, a lot to take care of that baby. Right. Now, when you have a 14, 15 year old, oh, uh, you can tell it. Go in your room. Go on the Xbox. Right. You, <laughs> get, go get something out of the refrigerator when you're hungry. Make sense? That's the difference. Small gun. It's harder to control because of the recoil. Right. Big gun. That recoil. Those gases are going on mm -hmm. range. Yeah. Let's shoot some more. I like this gun. So get your grip, get it up higher. Bam. There you go. Shoot that top plate. Again. Again. Out. You're in a gunfight. What you need to do? What you need to do? You're in a gunfight. Your weapon just went dry. Stop. <laughs> okay, workstation. Yeah, workstation. Workstation. Yep. Um, oh, new clip. Bam. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And get back in there. Good. Now we're about to demonstrate that line. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, y'all ready? I'm getting my stance. So, at some point, your weapon is gonna go dry. Right. And you're gonna need to reload. Right. You got me? So, thank yourself through it. Oh shit, I'm out. <laughs> my, I need to feed my baby. Right. Make sense? Right. At some point. Okay. Ready? Oh shit. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, when I had just pulled this back, it looked like one of these was like crooked in here. Well, it can never get crooked in here. Unless. Watch this. I folded, I would've got shot. <laughs> yeah, you would've got shot. I'm gonna show you yourself now. <laughs> what happens if you're not holding this firm? Okay. Remember I told you about the, the recoil? What's gonna happen is this gonna get locked. Okay. 
and the, the slide is not gonna be able to cycle right and eject the shell accordingly right. and it'll get jammed on you. So when I was looking, yeah, you been in there? You been in there first time? I wasn't, I wasn't. You went like this, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hold your weapon. Oh, there it go. I don't know how many in here. I'm not gonna tell you how many in there, but at some point. I'm gonna have to change it. Yeah, you, you have to reload. Always keep a firm grip on it, okay? Okay. This is all the way in, even though it has it right here. Mm hmm Okay. Let's see. Lean forward with your shoulders. Oh, shit. Get in there. Get in there. Get in that gunfight. <laughs> Get in that gunfight. Let's go. Give them what you owe them. Let's go. Let's go. Bitch ass. Stop. Point it. I'm gonna show you something. Take your finger off the trigger. Look at the condition of your gun. Right. So remember I was telling you about holding it firm? Uh-huh. This is exactly what happened when you're not holding your gun firm enough. Oh, because there's still a bullet in there. Yeah, and look how it's canted. Okay. So that's what we call a malfunction. Okay. A stage one malfunction. My, my gun jam. Your gun jam. <laughs> what do you think you should do at this point? Um, empty that one out and reload. Let me see. You still in the gunfight? Oh, <laughs> so let me hold it. So watch this. You cool? You cool? Remember this. If you keep wrecking your slot, mm -hmm. you lose the ammo. Yeah. You got me? Mm -hmm. Do that one time. I'm gonna show you. Hold my gun. Mm -hmm. Stage one malfunction. Something's wrong with your gun. You in a gunfight. Whack that motherfucker with mm -hmm. him. And get back in there. Mm -hmm. One time, if you rack it multiple times, you keep your baby keep throwing up. Right, right. Make sense? Mm -hmm. One time get that bitch in and get back in the game. It still don't work, hit that magazine and then you rack it again, mm. you got me? And get in there. So that's a stage two Mac function. It's not doing nothing. Hit that magazine, rack it, get back in the game. Mm -hmm. Who you seeing down there? Who I seeing? I was talking about my ex. Oh. Woohoo! I go right up a camera. Oh wait, I need the other one first. Let me chill out. This is the money shot right here. Okay, okay, okay. So remember, good stance. Mm -hmm. Hold your gun firm. Something is gonna go wrong with your gun. I don't know when. Put that motherfucker in your workstation. Get that bitch out. Mm -hmm. Put that motherfucker in. Get back in the fight and start giving them what you what uh, they ask for. All right. They ask for. <laughs> all right. Whenever you ready. Oh shit. Oh. Shit. Ooh. Damn. So that time, I, I didn't pull it back hard enough? Nope. Damn. This one is kind of hard to pull back, though. Take a look, Strong. How you feel? I feel good. Feel good? What's up, y'all? I just you know, finished my gun safety class. I learned how to do a lot. You know, I feel a lot more safe about it, and I learned how to hit my target. So, you know, I'm feeling like, I can defend myself, really, thank you. But, like I said, I learned a lot of safety tips. Um, I'ma check it every time I, I pick up a gun, I'ma check it. Uh, I learned what the magazine was today, how to load it. 
how to hit my target, and to also watch my target and watch who's behind me to make sure that I don't hit anybody else. But yeah, overall good class, 10 out of 10. Bullets and beards. Big silly.